Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a quick update on the Mitchell Protoman wiring diagrams, and I'm also going to touch base on the update that came in, out in July. We covered it in another video, but I'm going to show you at least one feature that you may not be using that could save you some time. So I have a 2012 Chevy Suburban with 5.3 pulled up on the screen. We are in Pro Demand, and this is the default screen that you're going to get to once you pick your vehicle. This is the One Search Plus menu. If we typed in uh, Mass Airflow Sensor, it's going to pull up this screen here. We can do general search results or related or additional results. I typically click on the search results there. And from this screen, if we go down here to wiring diagrams, it'll find the diagram that has the mass airflow sensor in it. So more than likely it is this first one here. Let's see. Yep, it is right there. So that is kind of handy. If you don't know what diagram a certain component is in, you can just type it in the search, click on the wiring diagrams. It should pull it up for you. Click on that wiring diagram and you can you know, view it in a little better detail. Now, for the recent update on the wiring diagrams, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this wiring diagram because it doesn't show it until you open it up full screen. So we're going to pick this up. And since I had that mass airflow select, or I typed in that mass airflow, it automatically highlighted all the wires going to that mass airflow as well. And these ones that go off the end of the page, this is in the last update as well, um, that those will continue through all of the wiring diagram pages as long as those wires keep going. So if those go all the way to page five of the wiring diagrams, um, we can trace them very easily. Now, all I have to do is click on the mass airflow box and all those wires become unhighlighted. That's from the last release. New release right now. Today is, you can see some of the text is blue. Those are links to additional information for each one of those components. So you no longer have to leave the wiring diagram Go and look up additional components to find your pinout, your connector views, component locations. We can do that all from within the wiring diagram. Super cool. So I'm going to click on mass airflow. Now you can click on the title down here as well. And this other menu pops up on the side. We have some, some of the sure track information, the real fixes, top repairs, causes and fix. And then we have a lot of the OE, OEM stuff. We have specifications. We have the guided component testing. This is similar to what's in the Snap-on scanners. Component connector, that's what I want to click on because uh, if you're getting ready to scope this, that's gonna be what you wanna see. Gives me the component connector, information about it, and what each wire does and the diameter of the wire. So that's gonna save a bunch of time. Uh, remove and replace. Not only is it gonna give me the component location, but it's gonna tell me how to get it out of there. Um, this is really handy for modules. Um, if you need to know if you got a program or module, you can click on the module, read the information. It'll say after um, reinstalling, program it. And then they added another thing in here that you can search directly from this box. And what it's going to do is since I clicked on mass airflow sensor, if I hit new search, it's going to be just like I entered mass airflow sensor in the one search plus. Um, to make it a little more apparent, I suppose we could... Uh, we could go to the wiring diagrams. Actually, let me go back to the home page here. Wiring diagrams. We'll click on a different, um, a different sensor. Let me click in here, and I see the fuel pressure sensor. On this one here, let's hit the uh, new search, and it's going to bring up kind of the same information here, but in the full screen menu like you're used to, if you use the One Search Plus menu a lot. So it brings everything up in full detail. Um, from here, you could also view connector pinouts. Um, you could go back to the wiring diagrams, r, &R procedure. But, um, you know, a lot of good information here, a few time-saving things. And then we could also click on parts and labor. It'll show, take us over to the labor guide. Super handy. So if I am a technician um, estimating a job, a lot of commission technicians have to make their own estimates or at least start the estimate and the service advisor reviews it. So we can click on that, takes us right to a fuel pressure sensor and six tenths. We could add it to a quote if we wanted to. And then there's a button to return us back to the one search plus. So pretty cool. Um, if we want to get back to the wiring diagram, we could click on that. It should take us right back to that diagram. Um, if we wanted to price out another component, let's uh, jump to a different diagram and pick something else. 
let's say we have some oxygen sensors on this diagram. Also, um, in the past, you used to have to reach over here and hit the little hand icon if you wanted to move that wiring diagram around. Not anymore. You don't have to click on that. You can just drag it where you want. Um, this is really handy with the touch screen. At work on my laptop, use the touch screen. Um, once I click on the diagram and zoom into the level I want, I can just use my finger to swipe the diagram where I need it. So oxygen sensor bank one, sensor two. Let's do the new search. Because I don't see the, uh, the labor guide over here. Um, it might be something that they need to add, depending on if people use it a lot. But if we come back to this main menu, then I can, uh, I can look up parts and labor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yep, it gives me the labor for all of them. Let's go back here one more time. Connector view if we are doing some diagnostic testing, making sure that our heater circuit's good, making sure that our O2 sensor is actually switching. That's going to be super handy. Uh, we can go back. We'll be back in the same place. If, you, uh, if, if you're stumped on something, you need some ideas of stuff to test. You know, they do have the, the correlation charts here. Uh, oxygen sensor is commonly linked to all of these codes over here. And then some of those codes are also linked to, to catalytic converter and spark plugs. But um, they give you some trending graphs, stuff related to oxygen sensors. Now, unless someone else at your shop has clicked on the information already, when you first log in after uh, this information has been updated, there's a pop-up that's going to walk you through everything that I showed you. Or you can go to the wiring diagram icon. There's a little star there. We'll click on the star. This menu pops up. We can follow the steps. It tells us what's new. And then it has a link to go to their blog where they have additional information. Now, they are removing or moving a few features, but... I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, most people don't use them. The feature is still there. They just combined it with the OneSearch Plus. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see that. It's a, you know, slowly they're making those wiring diagrams more efficient, um, especially for the flat rate text that every minute counts. Um, you don't want to be bouncing all over the place to diagnose, uh, find your R&R procedures and estimate a vehicle. Now you can do it very quickly just by linking stuff out of the wiring diagram. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.